We are live. If you are joining me, hit me up with a con comment, not content. I was about to say content. That's where my brain is at. Got my water here. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to talk to you about something that has been driving me bananas. And I finally found an answer. I mean, I say I finally found an answer for why bathrooms are referred to as heads. And I've always referred to a bathroom as a head, and I'll tell you the story of how I got into it. And so I'm excited. I'm excited that I learned why they're called heads. And it pretty much had nothing to do with anything that I thought it might have to do with it. So, Scuba Colin, what's happening? Glad to have you. So you may have heard this term, you know, the bathroom is a head. You know, I'm going to hit the head. Do you need to use the head? You know, it's basically interchangeable with bathroom, restroom right? Good to see you too, Andy. And actually, the way I got started using it was when I was a kid. Naz, this is just us hanging out, talking. Tell me what's on your mind. Um, just telling a story about uh, how I found out what ships or boats, bathrooms are called heads or why they're called heads. Um, I would actually go and spend a few weeks each summer with my aunt and uncle that lived out in California. My aunt and uncle, you know, were pretty well to do, great people. And they golfed a lot and they had a boat, a little boat, you know, a fishing boat for, I don't know, deep sea fishing, I guess that's what you call it. Anyway, uh, my uncle always called it a head, head on the boat. That's what I learned it as. And then when we would go golfing to the golf course, he'd always be like, oh, I'm going to hit the head before we get to the golf course. So, you know, I always kind of learned that bathroom was head, but I never really thought about it. And actually, the reason I said that, yeah, Chris, that's what I'm saying. Um, I actually said to someone the other day, I was like, oh, I'm going to hit the head. And they're like, what? What are you talking about? So if you have ever heard that term and you would have referred to, but didn't know why it referred to that, I'm going to explain it to you. And I am going to try to use some tech here to show you because I did the research because I actually didn't know why it was called that. So hopefully you can see this. This is a bathroom on, you know, a small boat, you know, and this is kind of what you would think of as a restroom on a small boat. They're pretty small, you know, for the personal pleasure craft space. And look at the title here, the picture I grabbed even says what to look for in a head compartment. And that's what is technically a head because head really does refer to bathroom boats. In fact, the other thing I want to show you here is that this is also a head, and this is more of a vintage boat, obviously a little bit bigger. You can see there's like plumbing and everything. Uh, definitely like vintage style, but renovated. Uh, there's more newer technology there. Oh, you heard about Cooper Enthusiasm? They covered it? Well, Andy, I appreciate that. A face for radio. Welcome back, Peter. Um, and so this is another head, and this is what they would refer to. So if you have ever seen a boat head, you know, you are probably familiar with this. If you've ever been on a boat, even like a small boat, a little sea ray or whatever it might be, or a big boat. Uh, if you were in the Navy and you were on a ship, people have corrected me on that. Battleships were called ships. And the only ship in the Navy that they called a boat was a submarine. Okay, so if you are on a ship, that's what they were called. Head, maybe a cruise ship. I don't know. I haven't been on a cruise. So maybe, maybe they don't refer to them as heads, but they are. All right. So... The term actually comes back from a long, long time ago. Oh, where does the sewage go on a boat? Naz, that's a great question. And that's why I was so fascinated finding out more about this. All right. So this is, I don't know if this is a schooner. I'm definitely not a maritime enthusiast. I know that uh, subscriber Red Oracle knows all about boats. He would probably be a better expert to ask about this. But on a boat like this, this is where the term really originated from and as you can see this is a boat and it's got that big pointy nose coming out of it if you watch pirates of the caribbean you kind of understand what the look and the feel of these boats are but there is a reason for all of these things and in fact what you might be able to see here i don't know that i can i'm showing you my like cursor i don't know if you can actually see that but right up at the top you know where you've got the kind of the body of the boat you have this platform that sticks off. And as you can see, there are some trusses and things that hold it up. And that really is a platform that sticks out of the front of the boat. And that is what we would call the head. Now, why would we call it the head? Because, you know, it just sticks out over the water, as you might be able to see here, right? So this is kind of the 
uh, view if you are walking onto that section. And you can see that it's, it's just the platform surrounded by rails. And the reason is because they would have the potties there. And they would basically be just like outhouse cutouts, you know, the hole there, the box you'd sit on, and they would drop right down to the water line. And in fact, in this illustration here, you can see that guy sitting on the toilet and people rowing directly underneath him. Let me just tell you, if walking under a ladder is bad luck, I would definitely not row underneath the head of a ship. Chris, I'll tell you what, I did think about that, and it has nothing to do with that. So um, I that's kind of actually what I assumed it meant. Uh, but no, no, it's just really the head of the ship. And there's some reasons for this. So what they did is they put this platform that sticks out from the front of these old ships, and you would go to the bathroom on them. And there's there's a number of reasons. One, because you could just create this platform where everyone would go. It concentrated, you know, all of the poop, all of the pee, all of that kind of stuff. And it would just drop in front of the ship. And now you'd say, well, the ship is going to kind of plow through that. Well, it would in some ways. But one of the things that I didn't know about these old ships is that basically they could only move with the wind. So modern sailing has figured out how to sail into the wind. And in fact, you can actually sail faster than the wind. So, But in the old days, you would just raise these sails, it would catch the wind, and the boat would never go as fast as the wind. It always just went where the wind would take it, right? Or you'd always have to go with the wind. And what that meant is that there was always a little bit of a positive breeze, kind of pushing over the the ship from the stern to the bow. And so if you were using the head there and uh, creating foul odors and those types of things, because the wind was always pushing from the back of the ship, it would actually push that smell away. Now, yes, all that stuff would drop into the ocean, just like all of the maritime animals also pollute there. But the wind would push all that smell. So what you would have necessarily is like all of that odor wafting over the ship. So it's actually a fairly brilliant design. In fact, say the ship was powered. Let's say it's a modern ship and there's no wind and you were going to put something like this on a boat, you would probably put it in the back, right? Because now you can sail faster than the wind, you can motor faster than the wind, and you want, as the wind passes over the bow of the ship, going to the stern, pushing all that smell. So it was in the head of the ship for that particular reason, right? And so one of the things that I've noticed here, you know, I love the movie Master and Commander, you've probably seen Pirates of the Caribbean. I've never noticed these things on the ship, um, but I've always seen that bow and always kind of wondered about it. Now, what is kind of interesting here is what you can see another illustration some of these were larger than others right now you can see that it's kind of a communal outhouse it's outdoors i think if you get caught in the rain and the sun um all of that stuff well that's going to make it a little bit uncomfortable but i think it also works to sanitize it say like the waves splash over you know if it rains it's kind of cleaning up everything things that get baked out in the sun get disinfected so uh some of that is actually pretty brilliant but you would think hey all right we're all in this ship together here and everyone's going to kind of do their business everyone's kind of level set everyone's kind of brought back to earth everyone's kind of even there but that would be wrong because on ships you have a very distinct hierarchy right you i don't know what they are in modern sailing parlance or anything like that but you know back in the day there were uh basically your sailors and then your officers right and those are two different types of uh, levels. Here's another. Here's another picture of a head. Very small one. I'm assuming that you kind of sit uh, sideways to the boat there. So um, you know nothing fancy about it. If you were to look at that now and say, "What is that?" You'd think maybe a hole for a pole or a mast or something like that. But you'd be wrong. That is where you'd go and do your business. All right. So here it is. And I think it looks like some of these guys would you know, rinse off their, uh, their their seat and all that stuff. But what you can see here is, you know, sailors. We've got sailors and we've got our officers. So what do the officers do? Obviously, you can't just build another poop deck, right? And so here's a good picture of this. So I wondered about this. And what you can see here is the midshipmen's privies uh, basically are on the same platform, but they've just built basically a closet, a, a wall around the outhouse for the officers, right? So they have some privacy. I think that's where privy comes from, roundhouses. So even though you might have a row of uh, 
outhouse seats right there on the head and the officers would also use the head it's kind of built over you know it's got like its own little cubicle office space over one of them so that the officers are not relegated to be um humiliated with the rest of the men the rest of the men would sit outside but the officers you know rain shine whatever would have maybe better accommodations on that so that was kind of interesting because you can kind of build it there and yeah you're only a few inches away from the more important people on the boat but you are all in the same general area even though the officers are getting slightly better treatment and uh here's just a little cartoon i thought this was funny when i was looking for pictures and you might say hey what is this boat it kind of looks like a viking ship and are these the uh are these the heads here yes again uh in the head of the boat and ironically or maybe not ironically the person who drew this picture probably knew what was up but here's a picture i think this is of a viking boat but if we go back to this picture here where they are on the heads here you can see the two heads right there that's all there was not a lot of privacy they don't look particularly comfortable to me although my assumption is maybe there was you know some sort of platform with a hole cut out so that you're not sitting directly on the vertical boards there but that's it it's just kind of a hole it goes through the bottom of the boat and uh that is what you use man so that is where the term head comes from because uh bathrooms on ships ref are referred to as heads and that is a carryover or from the tradition of putting the heads or the bathrooms on the head of the ship for controlling the smell for um you know, uh, having all of the people do their business in one area, and then some cool innovation of putting up some partitions, making them privy or private for the officers. So I was uh, I was surprised to learn that. Again, if I had had to guess, if you had told me to just come up with a story of why bathrooms are called heads, that's not what I would have come up with. But it makes sense now, and it makes sense why people still refer to them as heads on boat, even though there's nothing that says that. The heads actually have to be in the heads of boat anymore. And um, I don't know that they are. There's heads all over boats now. Um, so just a little bit of history there. I just wanted to do this quick hit. So Andy, Chris, Naz, especially Naz, I think uh, that's the first time for you on the, the, uh, the, the live stream here. Scuba, all good to see you guys. Carrie, thanks for jumping on here. Um, lots of other stuff, man. Lots of other little trivia I've been learning that I want to share with you, but also some announcements coming up here too that I will hold off until another day to, to share with you as I am trying to button up the final details on that stuff. So I appreciate you joining me tonight, but if you ever wondered like I did and it was keeping you up at night, now you know. Sleep easy, my naval sailing seafaring friends. Maybe we should end this with like a sea shanty. So we should all jump on a Zoom call and sing the sea shanty together. All right. Well, that's it. So I am going to uh, let you guys have your evening back here. But I appreciate you joining me. And uh, let me just spew some trivial knowledge that you'll never, ever need. That's it. Peter Von Panda. Out. We can stop more. Explore so much deeper. We can live better than.